Begin in a comfortable seated position on your yoga mat. Sit tall. Draw your shoulder blades toward one another for broad collarbones. And as you exhale, feel your shoulders relax away from your ears. Close your eyes. Close your mouth. And begin to breathe in and out through your nose. As you become more connected to your breath, let go of any thoughts, anything that happened earlier, anything you have to do later, and just make a commitment to yourself to stay present and focused throughout the next 30 minutes of the practice. As you inhale, feel your stomach inflate. And as you exhale, draw your navel in towards your spine to empty the lungs out completely. Make your inhales and exhales of equal length. And really intend to use your lungs to their fullest capacity because normally we breathe really shallowly. And when we use our lungs to their fullest capacity, we bring more oxygen into the bloodstream. We become more calm. And any kind of stress or anxiety can just dissipate. So let this be more a breathing class in which you're doing yoga poses rather than a yoga pose class in which you happen to be breathing. On your next inhale, come forward into child's pose. Extend your arms out and press your forearms down towards the mat until you feel a nice stretch in your armpits. Let your forehead rest on the mat and let your whole body be really heavy as you maintain your connection to your breath. Reach your sits bones back towards your heels. And breathe into the tops of the feet. Maybe letting go of any tension that you might feel there. Take another deep breath in. And as you exhale, come to sit up, bringing your hands close to your knees and press the mat away from you. When you're ready, rise up, taking the knees hip distance. Bring your hands to your low back and press your hips forward until you feel a good stretch in the hip flexors. This isn't too deep, just be really gentle and warm up the body for the practice. On the next inhale, Take your left foot out to the left and reach up and over the body with your right hand. Breathe into the side body, the space between the ribs, and then take it over to the other side. Everything really gentle. Inhale, come back to center. And then we'll take the other leg out. So right leg out to the right, reach up and over the body with the left arm. Inhale, over to the other side. Breathe into the space between the ribs. Inhale, back to center. And come on to all fours. Knees directly underneath the hips. Rest elbows and shoulders in one line. As you inhale, extend your left leg, and when you have your balance, extend your right arm. Activate the core and get as long as you can. Don't worry about how high you get the arm or the leg. Spread the toes, spread the fingers, and when you're ready, come back to center. As you inhale, extend the right leg, spreading the toes, and when you have your balance, extend the left arm, spreading the fingers. Activate the core, try to keep your hips even, and reach as far as you can. Inhale, come back to center, curl the toes and lift the hips for downward facing dog. First one of the day, so be really gentle with yourself. Link your breath with your movement. And if you need to, feel free to pedal out the legs. Fingers are spread, pushing especially into the big mounds of the fingers. And take your gaze to the navel, so let your head hang without any tension in the neck. Sit 
From here, we're gonna slowly make our way to our hands. So come onto your toes, and you have the option to bend your knees here or keep your legs straight as you slowly walk your feet forward to meet your hands. When your feet get there, take the feet hip distance. Let your upper body just hang. Bend the legs and then straighten them. And then when you're ready, visualize your hip joints over your ankles and take a forward fold. Bend your knees, tuck your tailbone, and round all the way up. As you inhale, walk to the front of the mat. Step your feet together for Tadasana. And bring your hands to your heart. As you inhale, visualize your tailbone tucked slightly under and activate your core. Inhale and lift the right leg. Exhale. Slowly bring it back behind you to step back. And then bring the right knee down, the arms come up, and the hips go forward. Look up if that's okay for your neck. And as you inhale, bring your hands down to the mat and intend to straighten the left leg. So pull that left hip so it's in line with your right hip and melt your upper body over your leg. Inhale, walk forward, lift the right knee, find your balance, and rise up. Left knee directly over left ankle or slightly behind. Inhale, hands to the mat. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale, hold. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, just the hands and the tops of the feet on the mat. As you inhale, roll over the toes and take downward facing dog. Step your feet up the mat a couple of inches just to clarify the foundation. Spread your fingers and check in with your breath. When thoughts come, just let them go without giving them any attention. And as you inhale, rise onto the toes, bend the knees and float forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. You can bend the knees if you need to here. Inhale, tuck the tailbone and round all the way up. Bring the hands to the heart, feet are together. Activate your core and tuck your tailbone slightly. Inhale, lift the left leg, extend it out in front of you. Exhale, come forward with the upper body and slowly swing the leg back behind you using control. Step back and take the left knee down to the mat. Arms lift, hips come forward. Breathe into any areas of tension. Remember to keep your inhales and exhales of equal length. And on your next inhale, take the hands down to the ground and send your hips back, intending to straighten the front leg. Melt your upper body over your thigh and pull that right hip back so it's in line with your left hip. As you inhale, come forward, lift the left knee, and rise all the way up when you have your balance. Right knee directly over right ankle or slightly behind. Inhale, hands to the ground, exhale, step back, hold. When you're ready, chaturanga, roll over the toes for up dog, and we'll meet in downward facing dog. Picture the body as an upside down letter V. Activate the muscles in your legs, so pull your kneecaps up. Spin your inner thighs up towards the sky and your elbows forward. Press the mat away, intend for the heels to come down to the ground, but don't worry if they don't get there. As you inhale, rise onto the toes, bend the knees, and hop forward. Halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold, chin to shins. Inhale. Rise all the way up with a flat back. Exhale, hands to the heart, Tadasana, mountain pose. As you inhale, sit low. Utkatasana, chair pose. Knees are in line with one another, and then come to stand. Lift the right knee, cross the right foot over the left thigh, and come into standing pigeon. The closer you get your heart to the leg, the more you'll feel it in your hips. Sit as low as you can, and when you're ready, come to stand, and press the right leg back behind you, taking warrior three. So your hips are even, point your right toes down towards the mat, 
And when you're ready, step back, coming into warrior two. So the outer edge of the right foot is parallel with the short edge of the mat, and the left foot is pointed forward. Open up the arms, make your arms strong, and when you're ready, take extended side angle, option to extend the left arm out to your right. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Step back for plank. And when you're ready, we'll roll onto the knife edge of the right foot, taking side plank. Press the mat away and lift your hips up, but try not to arch your back too much. Spread the toes. Option to lift the top leg. And when you're ready, come down and take it to the other side. Coming onto the knife edge of the left foot, option to lift the top leg. Press the mat away from you, lift the hips. Inhale, plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog, and step your feet up the mat a couple of inches to clarify your foundation. Check in with your breath. On your next inhale, rise onto the toes, bend the knees, and float forward. Halfway lift, feet are together. Exhale, forward fold, chin to shins, hip joints over the ankles. Squeeze the legs together on your next inhale, sit low for Utkatasana. Arms lift, look up, and exhale, Tadasana Mountain Pose, hands to the heart. When you're ready, sit low, Utkatasana. Come to stand, lift the left leg, and cross the left foot over the right thigh. Sit low, long spine, and reach your heart forward until you feel a good stretch in the hips. As you inhale, rise up. Use your core strength to lift the left leg. And then we'll press that foot back behind you, coming into warrior three. So point the left toes down towards the mat and spin the inside of the thigh up towards the sky before stepping back and opening up into warrior two. Outer edge of the left foot is parallel with the short edge of the mat. Right knee directly over right ankle or slightly behind, open up the arms. Activate the core, make your arms strong so if someone came by to press on your arms, they wouldn't go anywhere. When you're ready, extended side angle pose. Option to extend the right arm. This uses your core strength, your obliques, and really makes you work, but you don't have to do it. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, windmill the arms. Step back for plank pose. Acknowledge the pose. Find your breath and chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Press the mat away from you. Spin the inner thighs up towards the sky and let any tension in your neck go. Inhale onto the toes, bend the knees and float forward. As you inhale, halfway lift, fingers in line with the toes. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up with a flat back. Exhale, hands to the heart. Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Inhale, reach forward, hinging at the hips. On your next inhale, lift the left arm just a little bit. Exhale to center. Inhale, lift the left arm just a little bit. Exhale to center. Keep your kneecaps lifted. Take a breath. And as you exhale, forward fold. Hip joints over the ankles. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the hands and slowly bend the knees until you come down. We're going to take garland pose. So you have two options. You can stay high on the toes, which is a little bit easier, or you can come flat down onto your feet. Wherever you are, bring your hands together and press your elbows into the legs to open up the hips. Try to keep your shoulder blades drawn toward one another so you have a long back. And when you're ready, open up your arms, placing the right hand down on the ground. You want to have your right knee behind your arm. When you're ready, 
come into a bind if that's in your practice or use a yoga strap to help you get there. Inhale, open up the arms. Exhale, hands to the heart. Taking it to the other side. Left fingers come down onto the ground. Right arm lifts and then bind or use a yoga strap to help you get there. Think about breathing into the chest and breathing into the inner thighs. As you inhale, come back to center, place the hands shoulder distance apart, preparing for crow pose. So rise up, look forward, which I find to be the trick of it all, and then maybe just lift one foot, maybe both feet. Breathe, use your core strength, press into the mat, lift up, and if you're ready, jump back. Otherwise, just meet us in downward facing dog. Find your connection to your breath. Let any thoughts go. And on your next inhale, step your right foot to the front of the mat and turn your left foot so the outer edge is parallel with the short edge of the mat. Straighten your right leg, come forward with your torso and rotate the arms for Trikonasana. Look up if that's okay for your neck or look straight down. Breathe into the space between the ribs. And when you're ready, rise up using your core strength. Bend the front leg and windmill the arms down. Step back for plank pose and lower for chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Reconnect with your breath. Let go of any thoughts. And on your next inhale, step your left foot to the front of the mat and turn your right foot so the outer edge is parallel with the short edge of the mat. As you inhale, straighten the front leg, come forward with the torso and rotate the arms for Trikonasana. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, bend the front knee. Windmill the arms and step back for plank pose. When you're ready, lower down chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, roll over the toes, downward facing dog. Take a couple deep breaths here. Inhale onto the toes, bend the knees and float forward. Halfway lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, hands to the heart. I'm gonna do a little balancing here. So push all of your weight into your left foot and lift the right leg. Take the left hand to the hip and hug the right knee into the body. Maybe you stay there or maybe grab hold of the big toe with your first two fingers and extend the leg. Keep your collarbones broad. Activate your core, try not to lean back, just get tall. Press out of the bottom of the lifted foot. And if your leg is straight, you can invite the leg up towards your face and invite your face down towards your leg. As you inhale, release, and we'll take it out to the right. So you might fall here and that's not a big deal. Take your gaze over to the left as you do this. And then inhale back to center. We'll bring the head and the leg toward one another. When you're ready, inhale, bring the right hand to the hip and slowly lower the leg down. Shake your legs out, we'll take it to the other side. So all of the weight on the right foot and lift the left leg. Hug the knee in towards the chest, maybe you stay there if you're really tight in the hamstrings. Or maybe you take the first toe in your first two fingers and extend the leg. If your leg is straight and you feel good here, you can bring your head forward and lift the leg, intending for the two to meet. Inhale, release. And we'll open up the leg to the left and take our gaze over to the right. Try to keep the collarbones broad. Try to use your core strength, extend and press out of the bottom of the lifted foot. 
Inhale back to center. Take the head down, the leg up, breathe. You may find that one side is easier, more challenging than the other. It's totally normal. Don't overthink it. And when you're ready, release and slowly bring the foot down and shake it out. From here, open up the feet and then turn them in so they're slightly pigeon-toed. As you inhale, press the hips forward, look up. As you exhale, fold forward, bringing your fingers in line with your toes and sending your elbows straight back behind you. Look straight down at the mat as if you're trying to kiss the mat. Keep your kneecaps lifted and breathe into any areas of tension in the legs. As you inhale, straighten the arms. Take your first two fingers to the big toes and pull your upper body down. Check in with your breath while you're here. Make your inhales and exhales of equal length. Relax the shoulders away from your ears. As you inhale, straighten the arms and take your fingers to the outside edge of your feet. Pull your upper body down, taking the elbows out to the side. Relax your shoulders away from your ears. And as you inhale, straighten the arms. Take your hands to the hips, bend the knees and round the back till you come all the way up. When you're straight, Press your hips forward, lean back. Interlace your fingers back behind you and press the palms together. Come forward and when you cannot go forward anymore, then activate your arms and bring them down towards your head. Press your palms together and lift the shoulders away from the ears. Be really mindful of your shoulders here. When you're ready to release, bring your hands down first and then round the back and rise up. Inhale, come to the top of your mat, Tadasana, Mountain Pose. Take the arms out in front and rise onto your toes when you have your balance. Activate your core, and when you're ready, squeeze your legs and slowly come all the way down. Come to sit, bring your bottoms of the feet to touch. Bring your feet towards your pelvis as much as you can. Bring your thumbs into the arches of the feet. Open up the feet like a book. Press your elbows into your knees if they reach. And then bring your heart forward. Reach through your knees, breathing into any areas of tension in the inner thighs. Try to keep your collarbones broad and your chest open. With each exhale, try to come further, but always stay really mindful, never passing into the point of pain. As you inhale, release and extend your legs out in front. Take the left foot as close to your left sit bone as you can. And take the right foot so the ankle is in line with the hip joint. Inhale, take the left arm forward, reach forward. And then wrap the left arm around the left leg and bring the head down towards the right leg. So we're taking a bind here and this might be a little bit too much. You might need to use a towel or a yoga strap or something to help you reach and connect your hands to one another. With each exhale, try to bring your head down towards the leg. Make sure that your right foot stays flexed and the toes spread. When you're ready, release the pose and extend the left leg. Taking it to the other side, bring your right foot as close to your right sit bone as you can. Right hand comes forward, and we're wrapping it around the right leg. The left foot stays flexed, toes are spread, and the ankle is in line with the hip. Reach forward with the upper body and breathe into any areas of tension. As you inhale, release the pose and extend your right leg. We're coming into staff pose here. So remove the flesh from underneath your sit bones, flex your feet and sit as tall as you can. Press your hands into the mat if they reach, activate your legs, 
and sit as tall as you possibly can as you breathe in this position. On your next inhale, bring your hands back about eight inches behind you, fingers pointed towards the body. Press into the hands and the feet to lift the hips up. Press the bottoms of the feet down towards the mat. Let your head go if that's okay for your neck. And when you're ready, release the pose. From here, we'll take a seated spinal twist. So cross the right foot over the left thigh, option to bend the knee or keep the leg straight is a little bit easier. Take the right arm up and then hook the elbow to the outside of the left knee and look out over your left shoulder. With each exhale, twist just a little bit more. And when you're ready, release the pose and come to the other side. So right leg crosses over left thigh, option to bend the left leg. Hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee and look out over your right shoulder with your left eye. Stay as tall as you can and draw your shoulder blades toward one another. As you inhale, release the pose, extend your legs and extend your arms. Slowly come all the way down onto the mat using your core strength and then spread the legs mat distance and let the hands fall off the mat. Turn the palms to face up and close your eyes. Take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale with a sigh through your mouth. Scan your body from your head all the way down to your toes, finding any last areas of tension and bringing the breath there to let that tension release and go. Feel your body very heavy. There's no effort involved in this position. Let go of your attention to the breath and let it just come naturally now. Let go of any tension in your shoulders, in your hips. Feel the weight of your head and the weight of your legs. Let your body become totally relaxed. Let your eyes sink into the sockets. Close your mouth but part your teeth. And try to stay here for at least five minutes, letting your body absorb all the good things that you did. The YouTube video will end now, but feel free to stay here for longer. And if you like this video, please consider sharing it with your friends.